welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. Today is Monday, March the 4th, and today we remember John and Charles Wesley, who were priests and leaders in the Methodist movement. Here's a lesson from the book Holy Women, Holy Men, Celebrating the Saints. John was the 15th and Charles the 18th child of Samuel Wesley, who was rector of Epworth, Lincolnshire. John was born on June 17, 1703, and Charles on December the 18th, 1707. The lives and fortunes of the brothers were closely intertwined. As founders and leaders of the Methodist or Evangelical Revival in 18th century England, their continuing influence redounds throughout the world and is felt in many churches. Although their theological writings and sermons are still widely appreciated, it is through their hymns, especially those of Charles, who wrote over 6,000 of them, that their religious experience and their Christian faith in life continue to affect the hearts of many. Both brothers were profoundly attached to the doctrine and worship of the Church of England, and no amount of abuse and opposition to their cause and methods ever shook their confidence in and love of it. Both Wesleys were educated at Christ Church, Oxford, and it was there they gathered a few friends to join in strict adherence to the worship and discipline of the prayer book and were thus given the name Methodists. John was ordained in 1728 and Charles in 1735. The two brothers went together to Georgia in 1735, John as a missionary of the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel, and Charles as secretary to James Oglethorpe, the governor. And shortly after their return to England, they both experienced an inner conversion. Charles on May 21, 1738, and John on May 24 at a meeting in Aldersgate Street with a group of Moravians during a reading of Luther's preface to the Epistle of the Post uh, to the Romans. John recorded, I felt my heart strangely warmed. I felt I did trust in Christ, Christ alone for salvation, and an assurance was given me that he had taken away my sins, even mine, and saved my life from the law of sin and death. And so the revival was born. The later schism of the Methodists from the Church of England occurred after the death of the two brothers, Charles on March 29, 1788, and John on March the 2nd, 1791. But John's uncanonical ordinations of elders for America, bitterly opposed by Charles, doubtless set the basis for it. Let us pray. Lord God, you inspired your servants, John and Charles, with burning zeal for the sanctification of souls, and endowed them with such eloquence in speech and song Kindle in your church, we entreat you such fervor that those whose faith has been cooled may be warmed, and those who have not known Christ may turn to him. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.